Any shed? Well, it did. Fish on. Oh, I, I was just going to sing the shed song right here, man. Go, go, oh yeah. What, what is that? Is that a shed? Oh, that is. What a walleye. No, man. Come on, bro. I'm not here to catch walleye, bro. I mean, don't take me wrong. I'll welcome a walleye. I haven't caught one in 2023 yet. But, dude, I'm out here for shit, dude. Bro, I'm out here for shit, man. Zander Vitreus, huh? Wildlife from the Delaware River. All right, man. I'll, I'll take it. I mean, I'm going to release it. I'll take a few photos, but flutter the spoon, baby. <laughs> Oh boy, that was the third cast on that flutter spoon right there. <laughs> My first time ever using flutter spoons on the Delaware River. I saw the fish come up. I was like, dude, that is the skinniest hickory shad that I ever seen in my life, right? Fish turned one more time. I was like, bro, that ain't no hickory shad, man. That's a walleye, bro. The Zander Vitreus, right? Now, as far as I know, for the Delaware River, in between New Jersey and Pennsylvania, the walleye has to be 18 inches for you to take it to eat. No closed season for Delaware. Delaware has its own regulations. Zander Vitreus over here, right? But this one is 15 inches, man. We ain't gonna eat no baby walleye. Even though I wasn't planning on it, get out of here. Where's my shed at? Huh? Anyways, as you folks can see, took a day to fish the Delaware River. Man, we've been traveling so much around the country. There are some species right around my area that I haven't added to the 2023 species marathon list yet. And that includes the shed. It rained very heavily yesterday i thought i would come here to the saturated delaware ah, but that's all right that walleye species 137 of this year my first of 2023 well that being said flutter spoon seems to be working let's cast it back over there man and see if there's some shade around the area all right you know what let's walk a little bit over here dude sometimes you know yeah, right there. Never know, man. Sometimes the shed is at the end of the current. There's a lot of junk down here, though. Got to be careful. Oh, my lord, had a bite. Ooh, had a bite, dude. Could have been a shade. Some good could have been a shade. Beautiful. Oh, fish on. Flutter spoon, baby. Flutter spoon. No, you kidding me, bro. Is it another walleye, bro? What is going on here? Dude, what? Oh, bro, I don't have this molly on my list yet. I don't have shed on my list yet, bro. But the walleye are showing up? Man, this is weird stuff, dude. And they love Steve's flutter spoon, too. Look at that. It's even a smaller. And this is... <laughs> Even a smaller and skinnier walleye, dude. Look at this. Dude. You, you can't, bro. You can't make that up, man. I do like the fact, though, that these flutter spoons are single hook. I'm not gonna lie. Steve did a real good job at it. Steve's UV lure. Look at that, dude. Single hook, easy to get out of the fish. Baby walleye from the Delaware River. There ain't no shad, dude. It's all walleye, bro. It's like one of those days that you come out here to the river and you're just like, yeah, I'm gonna catch myself some shad. <laughs> and then the unexpected shows up. Flutter with the current. Woo! Right there. Man, that's a powerful weapon right over here. Even if there's a smallie. Even if it's not a shade, but even if there's a smally, bro, it's gonna nail this thing. 
Guaranteed. Guaranteed I got snagged on a piece of wood right here that I knew it was here to begin with. Guaranteed. <laughs> I'm about to lose my first setup of the day over here. Oh yeah, dude. Oh man. Oh yeah. Is that is on that piece of log that I knew it was here too. That's the problem. The problem is you let this thing flutter down there, but at the same time, oh man, look at that, bro. Oof. There goes one tungsten, one Eurotaku tungsten weight, and uh, one flutter, <laughs> one flutter spoon. <sighs> All right, at least I got the tungsten weight back. All right, I try my best to get the tungsten weight back. So at least I got the tungsten weight back, man. Got my snap swivel. Got my leader, and the only thing that I lost was the spoon at my knot, right? Okay, that's, that ain't that bad, because when it comes to Steve's flutter spoons, you know, I bought a lot of them. See that, dude? I bought a lot of them, dude, at the Mohegan. <laughs> you know, when they had that outdoor sports show earlier this year, different colors too, you feel me? Chartreuse, orange, maybe I'm gonna switch colors now, you never know, or maybe I'm gonna tie the pink on again, oh this one's very sexy, or maybe I'm gonna tie the pink on again dude, because the pink was on, on fire. I'll tell you all what man, fishing is an expensive sport, okay man? I'm doing my little reinforced clinch knot right over here, boom, on the flutter, spoon one of those flutter spoons goes for like two dollars at the steve's website so i just lost two bucks look at that boom right there but man look at this ain't this sexy just a pink with a little green eye over here golden hook action on this baby is unbelievable let me show you the setup that i'm using for today as always i always list it in the description of the video i'm using an euro tackle tungsten bullet weight as you folks can see the thing just slips right over here then we got a snap swivel because my dump <laughs> because epf forgot the bobber stoppers back at home today and then we have about 24 or lower longer leader right that leads to the flutter spoon dude look at that baby right over there right so that's pretty much it man heavy current right over here the shed usually pass around this area, right? I don't know if they're here right now or not. I know they're in the Delaware River, but you know, the game plan is just keep casting and keep casting and keep casting, right? That's how you gotta do it, man. Cover a lot of water, right? And wait for the fish to migrate up the river. <laughs> well, it was good while we lasted, you know? I fished that spot for about two and a half hours. The shed were nowhere to be found. And then I was kind of um, forced to change the spots. That's why I'm the Delaware Canal right now. So check this out, right? I heard you, <laughs> you really can't make this up. I heard one of the most absurd stories in a while, right? I'm there fishing, dude. Ladies and gentlemen, just casting my Steve's flutter spoon. And then a little bit after noon, this group of anglers just come over to the spot, right? I mean, it is Sunday, it is a public fishing spot, no harm, you know what I'm saying? But obviously the dude comes fishing right next to me, right? Still no harm, you know, I'm casting a flutter spoon, he's casting something else, maybe he's going for an entire different species, right? Maybe he doesn't even know about the shade. Well, obviously, he tries to pull some conversation, right? And he, he was like, you catch anything? No, I, I told him the truth. I was like, you know, I got two walleye on the flutter spoon earlier today. He was like, oh, walleye? Walleye? I was like, yeah, walleye, you know? So dude was a little bit surprised. Give or take 15 seconds, okay? 15 seconds. The dude pulled. <laughs> the dude points to a school on the Delaware River, a school of minnows, right? That clearly is a combination of like Eastern mosquito fish and banded killifish. Like, 
your typical gambusia, right? And fundulus species all together. Species of fish that don't grow bigger than three inches, right? And the dude tells me while pointing to the school, okay? He's like, you see there? I was like, yeah, I see it. The dude was like, those are baby walleye. Legit. I was like, oh yeah? Dude is like, those are baby walleye. You know what's going on? I was like, I don't know what's going on. Please tell me, right? The dude was like, the walleye has just spawned right now. So these are the babies and the parents. They stay around to defend their youth, right? I was thinking in my head, dude, is this fella talking about his snake heads? Or walleye, right? Those are baby mosquito fish, dude. Like fundulus, right? Anyways, after that story, man, I was just like, you know what, man? The shad are not here today. I'm just gonna quit it, go to the canal and go for whatever bites. You feel me? That's, that's gonna be the mission for the rest of the day. I left the dudes over there. Hopefully he's going to catch something at the spot. It is a good spot, you know? You see that over there? Those are baby ones. <laughs> All right, let's change to the EPF and swim or Z spend or something and give a few cats around here, man. You really can't make that up, dude. Let's head this direction. Any trout in there? Oh, I just got started. Oh, so, uh, we'll see. Yeah, okay. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate it. Uh, trout, huh? Maybe there is going to be hope for some trout. We'll see. This is the one area that is still has a little bit of current. Fish on boy. Oh man, I just lost a trout. Oh, that was heartbreaking. Lost one? Yeah, I just lost one. Oh, man. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. Uh, it, it will come. It will come. Dude. It will come. Are you EPF? Yeah, how's it going, bro? Yeah. It will come, bro. Yeah. Dang. Yeah, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Still a little bit deep. Hey, there's a trout here. Get it, boy. Trout on the power bait is about to come up, dude. This was really my last hope spot. Fish on. Oh my lord, there's a golden rainbow trout, too, dude. What? No, 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 look up, come down here. <laughs> the golden. Banana trout, dude, on the power bait. <laughs> Banana trout on the power bait. Look at that. The golden rainbow. Golden rainbow on the. Whoa. Whoa. Splash me all over. Look at that. You really can't make that up, boy. That's a good way of starting the trout session here. Today is definitely one of those days. I'm telling you all, you know. Every time you go out fishing, sometimes you strike one of these lucky days. Go to the Delaware River for shed with a flutter spoon, which is prime bait for it too. And guess what? We end up finding two walleye, the Zander Vitreus. Then we came here to the canal and I thought to myself, you know what, man? Kind of feel like getting some trout for dinner, right? <laughs> guess what, dude? We score ourselves a banana trout, aka a golden rainbow trout. Look at that, dude. This is the Oncorincus micus, same rainbow trout, right, that you folks usually see on the channel, but this is actually a mutation, you know? They do this on purpose, right? So the fish comes out like yellow, orange, pinkish. Look how beautiful it is, huh? Anyways, this one is going to be dinner, so it's okay if I mistreat it a little bit. I'm going to kill it soon, but check it out, huh? Check it out how beautiful this fish is, huh? Orange and yellow, no joke. All right, anyways, I'm gonna dispose of this fish, catch a few more trout over here, hopefully. And then we're just going to finish the day. 
Man, what a wonderful Sunday. <sighs> you know, fellas, ladies and gentlemen, I'm really starting to sense a certain pattern over here. Sundays is just real, real tough to come out, man, and work like that. Nothing against people, everything is public, you feel me? But that last spot where we're at, it only lasted so long. You know what I'm saying? There's two more people coming from behind the camera too. I was fishing there happily, a bunch of teenagers showed up, dude. They started being loud, you know, yelling some profanity. If I'm not working, no big deal, right? But you were there shooting the YouTube video, dude. I don't want to work with the audio when it's time to go back home and edit everything, you feel me? So anyways, I think for today, this is, this is about it, you know, it is, it is like 3.40, 3.38 in the afternoon. Uh, you know, it's like going to the casino and doing some gambling, you feel me? When you feel like you're winning, dude, you just gotta stop right there. I'm not gonna, you will, when you know it's time to crap out, you just get out of there. Two walleye golden rainbow trout i'm gonna let it finish on, on a good note over here so yeah i'll see you folks next time i'm gonna be down in atlantic city for a few days shoot some salt water videos i think that is going to be next on the youtube channel we'll see there's some florida videos coming up for you all as well thank you very much for watching as always man we caught some rare stuff in this video didn't we at least you know for those standards, right? <laughs> I'll see y'all next time. Tie lines and take it easy. No kidding, bro. It's like you had like 10,000 subscribers. Oh, dude. that is what's up, man. I appreciate My it, bro. My name is Mike, dude. I'm hey. a pleasure to meet you. That's what's up, man. I appreciate it. You There's found, you... remember the one video where you found the, the live target sunfish in one of the trees here? Oh, that was a Silver Lake. Oh, that was a Silver Lake. Yeah, that was, that was a Silver Lake. That was my lake. buddies. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, that was, I still have that at home, believe it or not. Really? Still? Yeah, in my basement somewhere. Yeah. Did you guys catch anything over here we, today? We not just yet. got here. Oh. I was fishing the river earlier. I got two stripers. Oh, nice. That's what's up, man. Yeah, yeah okay, good, good. Good change of scenery, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm about to change to a little jerk bait too yeah. and see what they, happens. What, what are they? Did they stop this with trout? Or the, or oh, here? The bass, right? Nah, man. Here's like mostly carp and bass. Yeah, that's what we were fishing for. But yeah. I seen the guy fishing over there with bait. And I was like, maybe they did stop this place. I don't oh, know. no. If you want trout, dude, you got to go to the Delaware Canal. Yeah. Yeah. I just got a golden rainbow from over there. Really? I heard yeah. you saying that. For yeah. so I didn't want to <laughs> interrupt. Oh, me. no worries, dude. No yeah. worries, bro. Yeah, don't worry about it, bro. This is going to be a YouTube extra clip, by the way. Yeah. You want to introduce yourself? Go ahead, bro. Oh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> Since fifth grade, huh? Yeah, my name is Mike. I've been watching EPF. Okay, let me get my I didn't mean to say that. You think you could edit that out? Oh, yeah, of course, oh, dude. I didn't mean to use profane language. No, no, don't worry about it, bro. We, we, we'll work things out. <laughs> uh, my name is Mike. I've been watching this man right here. You can't see him. EPF since I was in fifth grade. I've been graduated high school now. And I'm just... I never thought I'd actually see him fishing, but yeah, you never, never say never, right? Yeah, wow. dude, it's wild that I'm getting old, dude. <laughs> Since fifth grade, <laughs> and you graduated high school. Yeah. yeah, dang, dude. Anyways, man, I'm gonna turn this off. But if you want a photo or anything, we can take a photo too. Yeah, cool. Up to you, of course, man. Our one friend, our, our one friend, he uh. He met you uh -huh. at, in Doylestown at one of the things that in like the restaurant or something. Oh, okay. And, and he always brags about it. Oh, really? Like, oh, you guys never met EPF. <laughs> oh, yeah. And we, we, hey, there you go, dude. We're going to take some nice photos now, you know? You can be like, dude, yeah, he was fishing Afton, you know? We talked to him. I'm on the YouTube video. That's what's up. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Uh, let me see. Yeah, well, the sun is going this way, so it's better like yeah. this way. And then it may be to happen for a selfie afterwards. Heck yeah, dude. Let's do it. Right. You want to take one too, dude? Yeah, sure. Heck yeah, let's do it. Why not, right? All right. Oh, shit. 
All right, no, man. Thanks. Tag me on Instagram, all right? Oh, I'll yeah. make sure I tag you back, all right? I got a fishing Instagram. I'll post it. Heck yeah, dude. Do it. Tag me. I'll make sure I tag you back.